Hello everybody, Steve here and today I have this little tiny brass padlock for let's call this a mini lock Monday so I kind of like to start out with this big you know big view so you can see just how tiny this little lock is but so let's zoom in so we can actually see this guy zoom in a little more there we go yeah it's it's pretty small. So this is a little brass padlock from my little brass padlock collection. And um, so I don't know what you consider a mini lock. I kind of, my mind, I'm thinking anything less than uh, 40 millimeters. But uh, <clears throat> so anyway, so definitely would count this as a mini lock. So if you take a good look, got a lot of glare on that guy. Let me Turn off the light. That seems to, I don't know. Anyway, okay, there we go. That's kind of a good view of it. So this is, <clears throat> it says on the front, it says bell. And then on the bottom, it says cylinder brass padlock. And you can see it is dirty and a little rusty. There's nothing else on the back. On top, nothing. And here's the keyway. I mean, it's not really that tiny of a keyway, but it's kind of small. So this is the Bell brass padlock, and the size of this guy is almost an inch and a quarter, less than that, but about 30 millimeters. I would say that'd be the better, and more accurate, 30 millimeters. <clears throat> so. Yeah, nice little padlock. So let's uh, pick this open and see what it takes. And so I'm just going to use, let's see, for a tension wrench, I'll just use this multi pick uh, 1.3 millimeter. Fits down in the bottom of the keyway really well. So with this keyway, yeah, it is not, it is a little bit bigger than some of these other ones, but at least it's. If I do this, it does give me some room there to work. And then for a pick, I'll just use a multi-pick short hook, uh, PN06. And so I'll just <clears throat> go ahead and I don't have a key for it, so really can't show it open with a key. So we'll just have to deal with it. No key, no problem, right? That's how they say it. And there is a little hole there at the bottom, so that would probably be for uh, <clears throat> letting the water out or something like that. So anyway, drainage hole. That's what I was trying to think of. Sometimes I can't think. <laughs> anyway, mine goes blank sometimes. So let's start on pin number one. And nothing pin number one, two, three. Number four is binding, so I'm counting. Let's get a click out of that. There we go. So I'm counting four pins. So let's go back to one. Uh, nothing there really. So pin two. Got some binding. I'm gonna click there. Pin three. Got some. No, got some binding. And there I click. Click there. Hopefully I'm not kind of have wider tension on this one. So pin four. Try that. It should be set already, but we can check it again. Yeah, nothing really. Okay, pin one. Nothing two. Fill set, three, fill set, four. Nothing. So maybe I have something over set because I'm not filling anything anymore. I'm just kind of running through it again. I'm not filling anything anymore. So let's reset. I heard three pins drop. <clears throat> so that's a good sign. 
So my tension, pin number one, nothing really there. Pin two, nothing. Pin three, nothing. Pin four, binding, nice click there. Pin one, nothing. Pin two, nice little click there. Pin three, Kind of feels gritty, nothing there. Pin four. Okay, let's go back to pin one. Two, nice click there. Pin three, click there, and there we go. There we finally got it. Just had to get the reset, and that's all it took. So there it is. Nice little bell brass padlock picked open interesting you can kind of see I don't know if it's an allen screw down there or what but I don't think this can be gutted but anyway well there we have it so nice little bell brass padlock picked open um, and that's all I have for you today Thank, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and you're subscribed. And do leave comments down below. And, and uh, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.